Alright guys and girls, it's Nate Johnson with Fishing Michiana. Uh, we're back out again. It is Saturday, July something, early July. Water temperature is finally hit 80 degrees. The air temperature has been ridiculous. It's been in the 90s all week. Uh, very little rain until yesterday. We got quite a bit of rain yesterday, uh, but they have not opened the dams yet, so the water level is still extremely low on this river. Uh, so we're going to go out here and try to find us the deepest hole we can find. Put some bluegills down in them and see if we can get something to bite. And again, you know, we're after that 30 plus pounder. Uh, so hopefully we can get that 30 plus pound flathead today. Uh, we are going to pull an all day. So I'm going to be on this river from uh, dawn to dusk is my goal today. So, And it is beautiful. Let me show you guys what it looks like right now. Look at that. Just gorgeous So, wish me luck, and uh, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Hopefully next time you see me, as always, I have a fish on, so stay tuned. Check it out. We got some visitors here on the river. There they go. So close. Let me hook up. channel. Nothing to write home about by any means, but we got skunk out of the boat. That's what we all wanted to do. All right there, you tell me what you think. Blue or channel? Put a little comment below, blue or channel? Well, he's had a rough one. He's all beat up. So, all right, got one in the boat. Let's see what happens. We got that one on a head section, so we're going to go back to another head section right here. Kind of show you what I'm using here. So I got a size 8 Kamigatsu circle hook. I'm running a 25 pound big game leader uh, to a swivel. We got a 3 ounce egg sinker and then I'm running 40 pound braid on top of that. Now I know you're supposed to run a, a heavier leader than you do your, your regular line, but I gotta tell you it's cheaper to replace these hooks than to replace the weights. So uh, I run a little heavier main line. Plus I switched out to this braid. Right, like I was saying, I switched out to this braided line uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, the main reason being one, no stretch, obviously, is when I get a hit and I got to pull them out of the junk. I can't afford to give up an inch, much less the stretch on a mono line. Uh, but also, it cuts through the current a lot better. So when I'm dropping these weights out here in this current and I'm trying to position them on the, on the seams, uh, the current doesn't push this braided line nearly as much as mono, obviously because of the diameter of it. So. Uh, that's why I've switched to and so far I've had pretty good luck with it. I haven't had any break-offs, knock on wood. I probably will today now that I said that. And uh, yeah, I've gotten good reaction on my head. So there's one in the boat. Let's see if we can get that big fly head. What's up, buddy? What are you doing, mofo? Oh, fishing on the river. What are you doing? Uh, I'm driving to work. Are I'm you? lying. I'm also fishing on the river. I do it every Saturday, I just don't tell you. Oh, fish on. Hold Did on. Did you say fish on? Yeah, I just hooked up. Nice. You're good luck, dude. Every time you call me, I hook up. I know, it's amazing. It really is. Alright, what do we got here? We got us a little flathead. Oh, yeah. Little three pound dinkaroonie. Little dink, dink, dinkaroo. All right, on the body section, a little three-pound flathead, scarred up, but it's all healing up, so they're off the nest for a little while now. And uh, this little guy is going back in the river. Whoosh, that's two. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to commit, and I'm just going to have to get right in these snags. I just pulled that little flathead 
out of the snag and I mean I put that bait right in that log jam so I'm gonna scoot down this river a little bit more find the next log jam and uh, that's what we're gonna have to do today we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we're gonna lose some baits and uh, maybe some fish and just get right up in there and hopefully we can pull the big one looking for that 30 pounder so let's see what happens all right it's time to put some big boy baits down there we grabbed our nine inch gill I'm gonna put half the body down their head section Time to get the big boys. Get right up in that joint. me up. That was a nicer fish. And that's the downside of going up in the junk. They break off. You gotta get in there though. Big old turtle. Huge. Right into it. Oh. Man, these fish are gorgeous. He's just a beautiful fish. I know a lot of people think these fish are ugly, but man, I think they're beautiful. Alright, let's let him back. Make sure. So, what I did is I switched up my rig a little bit here. When I was running uh, basically a slip egg sinker, a Carolina rig, uh, down in his lumber, I kept getting snagged up or broke off every time I hooked into one. 
So I switched it to a suspended style river rig. It was basically a double crane swivel right there. And then it was run into a straight line, short leader, and then longer leader, lighter line, just a three ounce uh, bank sinker. So what this allowed me to do is sit my bait up a little bit higher. So this time when I took it down, I could pull them right out of the junk. And if anything snagged up like on that fish, the weight snagged up, which uh, we could always break that off. That's not the end of the world. We just want to get the fish in. So uh, that's the deal. That's what we did in the woods. So we'll try this again and see if we can pull another one out. Not too bad. channel. There we go. St. Joe River channel cat. Nice fish. 27 inches. I'm not going to get a weight on him. I'm going to guess he's probably neighbor to 8 or 9 pounds. 27 inches long. You can have a look at that fish. All right. Let's put him back. section out for probably two hours. All scales are darn near off. 
little bit, but keeps catching fish, so I'll just keep putting it out there. See what happens. All right, guys, that concludes my day on the river today. 13 and a half hours in the books. We got a few fish uh, to show on the video. Nothing outstanding. Definitely not the fish I'm looking for. Uh, but we got some tugs on the line. It was a tough day today. The water level is dropping rapidly. Water temperature was 82 degrees by the time I left. Just a lot of things working against us today. I want to give a special shout out in this outro uh, to my man Jackson out of Clear H2O. Uh, I was out there with my boy the other day, and we were getting some uh, minnows, and uh, we picked up a couple of rods for some trout fishing, and Jackson, man, customer service all day long. The guy hooked me up with the rods, the reels, pulled it up with four pound for me. Uh, super easy service, super easy to do business with them. So Jackson, if you're watching this, thank you. I tip my hat to you. Next video, I think we're gonna go out for some bull blue, bluegills out at uh, Webster Lake. Or it might be that time to go after some walleyes again. We'll see. I'm going to have to think about that. If there's anything you guys want to see, drop a comment below. And I will definitely look into trying some different stuff. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Thank you.